Hi everyone, it's Jeanette and we're going to be working on octave exercises for the flute today. These exercises are great for beginner to intermediate flutists and teachers who are looking for a bit of octave practice. It takes a lot of breath support to play octaves. Let's begin by performing a short breathing and support exercise. Put one hand on your abdomen and the other in front of your mouth. Take a deep breath in through your mouth and slowly blow air onto your hand. Let's try again and this time focus on how your abdomen feels. Now take a deep breath in and blow faster air onto your hand. You should feel a kick in your abdomen like it's pushing itself out. Let's try again. Now let's try combining slow air and fast air. Take a deep breath in through your mouth, blow slow air and steadily increase the air until it's fast. It's almost like blowing out birthday candles as if you were to mess up on the first try and you need to blow faster air to get them all out on the second try. You should feel that kick in your abdomen again. And this is exactly the kind of support that we need to make octaves on the flute. Now let's try slurring our first pair of notes. We're going to slur from low G to middle G. Repeat after me. Let's try that again and remember these three tips from the first exercise. Number one, use more air. Number two, use faster air. And number three, support from your abdomen. Now let's slur from low A to middle A. B to B. C to C. Singing before we play octaves is extremely helpful because it gets our air moving in the perfect way. Let's try singing before playing our octave G's. Here's a G for reference. Repeat after me. Ah, ah. Now let's try playing our octaves again after singing. Now that you've mastered playing each octave by itself, let's play them all in a row without pause. We'll start on G, then A, then B, then C, all in a row. Repeat after me. Now let's try starting from the higher octave and slurring down to the lower octave. We'll start with lots of fast air, slowing the air down to play the lower octaves. Now let's try slurring in groups of three. We'll go low, high, low. Your air should feel like a gust of wind passing by. 
slow, fast, slow. Let's try slurring the G in a group of three again. Ready, play. Now let's try all of our octaves in a row using that three grouped pattern. Once you've learned most of your flute fingerings, you can apply octave exercises to other music that you're learning. You can play all of your scales and octaves, play your favorite pieces in octaves. Get creative and challenge yourself to incorporate octaves into all of your favorite music.